returns. Brought to you today by new Comet Cleanser. For cleaner, whiter sinks and tubs than ever before possible, get Comet. It bleaches out stains, wipes out germs as no other leading cleanser can. It's incredible. Yet, Procter & Gamble's new cleanser, Comet, fortified with Thorinol, bleaches out stains, wipes out germs as no other cleanser can. We'll demonstrate. On this sink, we have put a stubborn tea stain. One side we'll clean with a leading cleanser, the other with green comet cleanser. You can do this test yourself. Compare comet with any cleanser you've been using. Look, cleanser X, stain still there. Comet cleanser, Stain bleached out completely. Proof that Comet, with its exclusive chlorine ingredient, Chloranol, gets sinks and tubs cleaner and whiter than any other leading cleanser. Comet disinfects, too. Leaves porcelain up to 99% free of household germs. Get new Comet cleanser. Well, I won't stay down long, Nancy. I just want to check over a couple of things. Is that, Chris? Ah, oh, just arranging a couple of things, Pa. Sit down. I don't want to bother no, you. No, I'm kind of expecting you to come down. I said Don got back for a while this evening to tell you goodbye. Yeah, wasn't it, though? I heard you tell the children you are going to take care of some business on the coast. Well, I couldn't very well tell them that I was going on vacation. They'd wonder why their mother wasn't going with me, huh? Well, then you ain't going to tell them about their uncle. I don't think there's any reason to, Pa. One of these days, Chris, if I can persuade John to come back here with me. That's a pretty big if. Where else has he got to go? Where else did he have to go when he ran away from the farm 18 years ago? Maybe he looks at things different now. He certainly wasn't looking at them any differently last summer. But all their months in prison since then. Well, Pa, I'll just, I'll just have to do the best I can. Yes, I know you will, son. Uh, I hope this weather keeps up. You'll have a nice trip. Yeah, it's supposed to be clear tomorrow. You got a cliff right through? Yeah, first stop, San Francisco. John got out of prison last week, didn't he? Yeah. Keep wondering, Chris. You ask yourself over and over. Wondering what, Paul? It might have been different. You could have done anything different. So things wouldn't have turned out this way. Oh, Paul. So many things come back to me. John was just a little tyke. He spent a lot more time with me than you ever did, Chris. He's a born farmer. Plowing with me in the spring. He could manage that thing good as I could. It wasn't any more than ten. And after we got things planted, watching the sky for signs of rain or a late freeze. And the night we sat up with Bessie, waiting for a calf to be born. Three o'clock, four o'clock. Wouldn't go to sleep. Just sat there with me, stroking Bessie, talking. Talking about the kind of farm he was going to have. What happened, Chris? How did it happen? What went wrong? Look, Paul, it wasn't your fault. Well... You're no use looking back. Got to think of the future now. That's right, Pa. And whatever the children need to know, we can... Uh, we'll tell them when the time comes. What about Nancy, Chris? What about her? She don't want you to go to see John. 
Well, I'm going anyway. It ain't that I don't understand how she feels. After all, she's a mother. She's got to think of her children. Well, don't you worry about it, Pa. Well, just let me ask you this, Chris. If it wasn't for me, would you still be going out to San Francisco tomorrow? Did Nancy tell you that I wouldn't? You said so yourself once. It had always seemed that everything got drummed and got dumped in your lap. Well, I guess we all get moments when we feel that way, Paul. You ain't answered my question. Look, Paul, whether or not John comes back here to live, the future will take care of this. I'm not too concerned about it. But well, Paul, I'm going out to San Francisco to try to make sure that John doesn't jump a roll. Oh, Chris, he wouldn't. That's what he threatened to do. You, you think he might? I'm afraid he might. This is why I feel I've got to go out there now. Maybe. Maybe so. But you let me worry about it, Paul. I just hope this don't make no hard feelings between you and Nancy. <laughs> oh. oh, Nancy and I have weathered a great many storms, Pa. We can weather this one. But... While I'm gone. Yes, Chris. I just hope that you and Nancy don't have any more arguments, Pa. We won't. I know I've been too outspoken to Nancy at times. But I have. And while you're gone, just don't worry about nothing. Everything's going to be fine. At least I'll do my best to make it that way. I know you will, Pa. Well, look, I think I'd better get upstairs. You go ahead, Chris. I'll lock up. And I'll turn out the Thank lights. You. All right, Paul. Good night. Good night. And, uh, Chris. Yes, Paul. Thanks, sir. Thanks. My friends, is a birthday party. Just look. I see a real laundry job ahead. Fruit stains, mustard, grass stains, and plenty of plain dirt. But I know a wonderful new way to get this birthday party wash bleach white. It's a new idea, a new detergent that I think you'll be interested in. And this is it. New Oxidol. Now watch. I pour just a cupful in my machine, and presto, here's my wash. Beautifully clean and white, bleach white. Because this new Oxidol actually contains its own bleach. It's the only well-known one that has its own bleach right in it. And like it says on the package, it's color-safe oxygen bleach. Just think, it washes and bleaches all by itself. That's why this new Oxidol really helps remove stains as no other suds can. Your wash comes out clean and white, bleach white, and your washable colors are so bright and lovely, so it's easy to see that this new Oxidol is not just for birthday washes, it's made for every wash, all of mine and all of yours. Although the defendant claims to have made an oral contract, um, Ms. Reynolds changed that to claims that an oral contract was made. Plaintiff maintains that such was not the case. And since defendant has no evidence to substantiate his claim. Yes? Busy? Oh, hello, Chris. Oh, I didn't know you were dictating. That's all right. Come on in. Well, I thought I'd drop in and say goodbye to you. Hmm? Oh, hey, that's right. What time is your plane leave? 4.30, but I gotta be out there a little early to pick up a ticket. Oh. Well, you've got a few minutes yet. Sit down. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be sitting for a long time. That's right, you get in late, don't you? Yeah. Can you sleep on a plane? No, but I can do some reading. We've got a couple of mysteries along. Oh, by the way, I'll be at the St. Francis in case you want to get in touch with me. No, don't worry about things here. Everything's going to be fine. Yeah, I'm sure it will. I hope you'll find everything all right out there for you, too. Who knows, huh? Anything I can do for you at this end? Nothing that I know of. 
Does your brother know you're coming out? No. You concerned about it? <laughs> you know, I don't quite know how I do feel. It seems to me that I'm pulled six different ways at once. How do you mean? Well, Nancy's here, the children there, Paul over here, and I'm somewhere in the middle. Must be pretty confusing. Jim, the reason I'm going to the coast is I've got to try to make sure that my brother doesn't jump parole. I think there's a possibility that he might. I think there's a very good possibility. Of course, surely he must realize what the consequences will well, be. I'm certainly going to try to make him realize, but he's a man obsessed with one idea. Or he was. Revenge, huh? Yeah. He was claimed, he was framed, and he intends to get the guy who framed him. Well, you'll be able to talk some sense into him. I sure hope I can. You mentioned Nancy. Uh, does she understand what this could no, mean? No, I... I haven't said a thing to Nancy about John's threat. I couldn't. She's... She's too upset. She's so worried about what it'll mean to the children to find out that they have an uncle who's been in prison. A man we let them think was dead. Boy, it's sure funny, isn't it? How everybody looks at something from a different angle. Yeah. Paul was out there last summer. He saw John. Saw him more than I did. But Paul still thinks of John as a young boy back in the farm. And his one idea is to get him to come back here and make him a member of our family again. Oh, Chris, it's understandable, I suppose. Yeah, what? John is today, it bears no relation to Pa's picture of what he used to be. You just can't wipe out 18 years of living as though they'd never been. No, hardly. Poor Pa. Keeps trying to find the reason for what happened to John. He asked me the reason for what happened along the way. What went wrong? And you're wondering about it too, aren't you? Well, Chris, I know all the trouble and expense you went to trying to locate your brother. Yes. And you've told me many times that you feel responsible for him. You got the education and he didn't. That's true. Well, there's something even more true, Chris. Sure, events influence us up to a certain point. But in the long run, we stand or fall on our own. Look at the record. Does an education keep a person from going to prison? Is it only poor boys who run away from home? Your brother's no exception, Chris. These things happen to him because he let them happen. That's the real reason. Yeah, I suppose you're right, Jim. I am, Chris. And don't you forget it while you're out there. You'll do everything you can, of course. But don't assume a burden of guilt. Jim, I never heard a lawyer make a better summation. Well, well good luck. Thank you. I'll be seeing you, Jim. Yeah. So long. So long. Let me have an outside line. E.D., this is Jim. We'll continue our story in just a moment. Do you know what's going on here? It's a bridal shower. Matter of fact, a linen shower. Just look at those lovely white sheets and pillowcases. And a white luncheon set, I think. And kitchen towels. What a supply. Well, there's a package of Oxidol. Now, what do you suppose that's doing in a linen shower? Well, I sent that package of Oxidol to my young friend here, and with very good reason, which I'll tell you in a minute, just as soon as the guests leave. Now. I sent my young friend the only leading detergent in America that contains its own bleach, that actually washes and bleaches all by itself. So those lovely linens that she's admiring will look simply beautiful year after year. Because only new Oxidol gets clothes detergent clean, 
bleach white, and helps remove stains as no other suds can, all in one simple operation. Yet, it's safe for colored washables. Really color safe. Yes, this new Oxidol containing its own bleach is just the thing for my young friend, isn't it? And it's just the thing for everything you wash, too. I haven't seen my father today, but the doctor seems very satisfied. I'm very glad to hear that. Are you sure you won't have a bite to eat with me before I go to the hospital? No, Jim, I don't think so. Edie? Yes? I don't know. I feel about you as I've always felt. I hope you still feel the same way about me, but... There's a wall between us now. We can't seem to talk anymore. What is there to talk about, Jim? I certainly don't want to rehash the past. No, neither do I. And there isn't any future. In fact, I don't even know why you wanted to see me this afternoon. I'll tell you, Edie. Remember the last time I was here, I asked you not to go away. I remember. Have you decided what you're going to do? I haven't even gotten any answer for my request for a transfer. Well, if you really want to go away, I'll try to arrange it for you. What? I don't handle the Margot account anymore, but I still know all the people there. And I'm sure if I spoke to a few of them... You really want me to leave, don't you? No, darling, I don't. But that's not important. It's what you want. What you think you should do. Jim, what do you think I should do? I can't answer that. All I'm saying... I know what you said, but can... Hello? Hello, Edie. Oh, hello, Pa. I called you at the shop, but I guess you were, you are, you'd gone already. Well, yes, I, I, I left a little early today. Well, not, not feeling sick or nothing, are you? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I was wondering if maybe I could come in and take you out for a bite of tea. Tonight? Sure. Unless you're busy. No. I could be over there in about a half an hour. Well, but we could have a little something here, Pa. No, 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 don't. Don't bother about that. We could go to that little restaurant down the street from you, couldn't we? Well, yes. I'll come right in. All right, Bob. Goodbye. Goodbye. My, my father's coming in to take me out to dinner. Uh-huh. Well, I won't keep you any longer. <coughs> Perhaps we can uh, do it another time, huh? Pat. Oh, I, I almost forgot to ask you. Did uh, Chris get off all right? Yes, he did. He did what I was just talking about. I'll... I'll think about it. I don't want you to misunderstand me. As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing in the world I want so much as for you to stay here. But... I... I understand, Jim. And I'll let you know. Goodbye, Edie. Goodbye, Jim. We'll continue our story in just a moment. New as a brand new bride. Pink as a bridal blush. The new Wonder Bar, new Camay. Loving pink Camay. The soap that says I love you to your skin. Sealed in shimmering pink pearl foil, Kame is packed with more loveliness than you ever dreamed a soap could have. It's pink, loving pink. So exquisite, 
so gentle. And wait till you discover that new Cam A fragrance. There's never been anything so lingeringly lovely in a beauty soap. And mild Cam A brings you the gentlest possible skin cleansers found in any soap. Even fine cold cream. It loves you. Loves your skin. No other beauty soap ever loved your skin like new loving pink Cam A. The soap that says I love you to your skin. You know, I think one of the most delightful surprises you'll discover about new loving pink Cam A is the exciting new fragrance you just heard about. Hmm, as enchanting as fine imported perfume. You could almost say it even smells pink. And Cam A is so gentle and mild. Truly the most lavish beauty soap ever. Try loving pink Cam A. I think you will love it too. Sure is good coffee, Andy. Thank you. That was a good dinner we had at the restaurant, too. Well, the food was good. I'm extra particular about my coffee. Mm -hmm. So am I. I guess it runs in the family. <sighs> Remember on the farm how we used to have that old gray pot on the stove most of the time? Yes, I remember. I guess Christmas be about halfway there by now. Yes. Well, it's a nice night for flying. Mm -hmm. I think everything's going to work out all right, Eddie. We'll be a family again someday. Well... You'll see. We missed it, Chris and Nancy's anniversary Saturday night. Oh, Pa. I mean it. Well, maybe you missed me, but I'm quite sure no one else did. Oh, no. Really, Pa, did. I don't want to talk about it. I do want to talk about it. When are you going to stop? Trying to think up excuses for not facing your niece again. Then he's going to have a birthday in a few weeks. I know. I wasn't here for it last year. But she's told me about it a lot of times. How you came out to dinner. Presents you brought in. Ah, there's been a lot of changes since last year. <laughs> Make it up with Penny, Edie. Make it up with her before Chris gets back. Oh, have you lost your mind? I don't think so. It would be so nice. Yes. It would have been so nice if Ellen Lowell hadn't overheard her father and me talking in her office. And it would have been so nice if she hadn't told Penny that I was the other woman in her father's life. But Ellen did overhear us, and she did tell Penny, so let's just forget the whole thing. If to do that, it'd be something else again. None of us can. You think Penny hates you, don't you? I have her word for that. Edie, we all say things out of hurt, anger, that we don't mean. And Penny was hurt. Oh, Pop. She was hurt because she loves you so much, Edie. That's why she wanted to hurt you, get back at you. But now we... Pa, let me set you straight on something right now. Penny was hurt, is hurt, because she had me way up on a pedestal. Now, I didn't ask to be there. I didn't even want to be there, but that's the way it was. And then all of a sudden, I fell off of that pedestal with a great big crash. And Penny's image of me was smashed into a million pieces. And there is nothing that you or anybody else can do to put them back together again. Who's saying we can? I just like her to think of her aunt as the way she really is. The E.D. I know. And if you just make the first move, Edie. Pa, uh, I think it's getting late. You better get started back home. Seems such a shame. Such a waste. Two people who could mean so much to each other. And thank you very much for the dinner. All right, Edie. But I ain't going to stop trying. You're wasting your time, Pa. We'll see. We'll see. Thanks for the coffee. Pot, take care of yourself. I will. And listen, Edie. Can I tell Penny 
Just said hello. Oh, pa, please. That's all. You Just said you said hello. Tell her whatever you want. I'd like to tell you you want to come out on the birthday. Of course, that's got to come from you. Will you think about it, Edie? Yes, I'll think about it. May 1st. It's going to be 18. 18. That's when a girl comes of age, ain't it? When she starts looking at things in a different way. Think about it, Edie. Good night. is Junior, happy as a lark. This is Daddy, working like a horse. And this is Mommy, busy as a beaver, wise as an owl. Busy because look at that wash Mommy's done. Lingerie, curtains, bedspreads, all her nice things. Wise because Mommy washed them in the machine with ivory snow. She knows nice things stay nice in ivory snow. It's the safest possible soap. She knows it's efficient in her machine, too, because it's granulated. The only soap, both ivory safe and granulated for efficiency. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Junior's tickled in his soft, safe clothes. They're far softer than if Mommy used a detergent. Take a tip from this happy family. Give all your nice things special care. Wash them in the machine with safe and gentle ivory snow. As the World Turns has been brought to you today by Ivory Snow, the safest possible soap for all your nice laundry. Be sure to see the exciting half-hour weekday series, The Edge of Night, a drama of conflict and suspense. Over many of